Hi guys, welcome to the Cambridge Way. I'm Lori, and this is my channel about knitting, stitching, all things crafty. This is Wellington. He is one of my cats. He's my, my senior. He is 12 this year, and Alex is around here somewhere. He'll probably make an appearance. And he is my young one. He's five. I adopted him in 2018. Hi, buddy. We're going to talk, okay? They don't understand why I'm talking to myself, but they'll get over it. They're used to having me home now. Ugh, sorry, I'm choking myself. So, I have some stitching, some finishes. No fully finished. Um, I have some... Do I have acquisition? No. But I have some fabric that I dyed. Do I have that? And I got a bunch of free, okay buddy, you gotta go lay down over there. A bunch of free patterns I printed and I wanted to show you what I was working on. So first we'll start with some finishes. A finish. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, a finish. And I finished this. It is a Red Cottage by Plum Street Samplers. And I, I know how I want to finish it. I just need to get out and find an 8x8 frame. And then I'm going to paint the frame a navy blue to go with this. I really enjoy knitting it. This is some fabric that I dyed. I coffee dyed, I think. Tea dyed, coffee dyed. I don't know. This might be tea. I think it's tea. Yeah, I tea dyed <laughs> this fabric. Um, it is, what is this? It is the uh, Zweigart 3228, 28-count 28 even weave, and I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And then I just did a tea dye on this one, I think. There might have been some coffee involved. I don't know. It might just have been instant coffee. We should check our book and see if I wrote it down. I don't think I did. This is my project book. I have yet to put something on the front. So I've decided that I'm going to keep track of all of my, I coffee dyed this. I'm going to keep all of my projects that I do and all of the pertinent information. So I coffee dyed this and now I remember. I took, just this was in white, and I took um, instant coffee from the Dollar Tree and I added just a little bit of water to make a really thick paste. And then I, okay, buddy. And then I kind of swooshed it up and I like just painted it with a pastry brush and let it do its thing with the coffee. And then I washed mine out, but I liked the paste because I could control where it goes. And I made it like a more of a pasty product. So that is done. Yeah, there's some bumps along the way, but that was my second ever finish. I started it on March 14th. Um, as a self-care new start, I belong to the Friday Off the Grid with Caroline. And we did a self-care new start, and that was mine, March 14th. I finished it on April 3rd, 2 over 2, size 26 needle coffee dyed. And then there's the flosses. So this is my notebook that I'm keeping with my projects that I start, and then I print off a little picture. I've got a couple here I haven't put in yet, or uh, one that hasn't been put in yet, that I started this morning, so I'll get it in here. So that was my finish. I do have another finish over there, but it was just an, I did an egg and finished it. Hi. Um, and here's the pattern that I used, and I do make a working copy because I write all over it and I didn't want to ruin that, so I'll put that away. Oh, I have some friend mail, too. Uh, but I need to run and get something for that. Now, my second project, which is living in this project bag that I created, I've decided this bag, which has a piece of floss on it, is going to be for all of my, like, primitive, um, sampler, summary type stuff. And I just bought this fabric at Joanne. And the inside just has some daisies, white on white. So this project here, that my next start, is Suffrage Act. 
by Little House Needleworks, and I know you've all seen this before. I just thought it was super appropriate for the year 2020. It's our 100 year anniversary, and I thought this was super appropriate. Now, I will show you where I'm at in a second. I stitch in a hoop. Here's my flosses. This is one that I use mostly the DMC conversion except for I did pick up Classic Color Works Antique Lace. Her dress is pretty prominent and it's white and I really wanted some variegation because it's a big block of color so I went with that and then I had to get this cherry cobbler because of the variegation for the brick and then the rest of it is just the DMC. I make my own floss drops. This is just um, scrapbook paper and then I punch a hole, I have a tag punch, and then I take, you cannot see it on that side, but on this side, uh, the hole reinforcers for like three ring binders. I just take the stickers and it helps keep it from popping through. So that is my floss for this project. And here is where I'm at. And I just have Suffrage Act Pro, and I'm working on the C. And then I'm working, you know, doing the red across the top. And that's also the cherry cobbler. So that's it. That's all I've gotten done. When did I start this? April 3rd. I finished and started on April the 3rd. And today is the 8th. So not too bad, I don't think, for a new stitcher. This will be my third decent size project. So that's where we're at with that. Did I have anything else? Oh, I had, I did purchase <laughs> this. Um, this is an op light. You wear it around your head and I can see it's a magnifier. I'm very far sighted, So I have a hard time with the smaller, even though that is not that small. I'll tell you, it is a 32 count Belfast light mocha. I will tell you though, that was more of a challenge than this 28 count even weave. This was a very big challenge, especially this little bit of one over one on the little tiny house. I had a super hard time seeing that. But in the dyeing process, this was in boiling water and I think I shrunk it. I don't have a ruler to tell me, but I'm pretty sure I shrunk it. So this was a tighter weave, honestly. This 32 count Belfast is a pretty open weave and I do find that I have to be super gentle and not tug or I end up making holes bigger holes with the but it's you know it's a looser weave as well which is fine I like it I'm enjoying the 32 count so I'm glad for that I do need to, to use the um, magnifier though with the light and so it's battery operated um, so I went on Amazon and ordered rechargeable batteries for it and it was the most bizarre thing two things one I bet it I bought this at Joanne however was 40% off. Their regular price for this was $29.99. So I paid like $16 for it. On Amazon, regular price is $17. So, I mean, just keep that in mind. But look at the bag it came with. It, it doesn't all fit in, in the bag. So I will leave it in here to protect it for now, but I need to stitch a sleeve for it, which I will do. Like my Notions pouch, I'll just make it with a zip up here and a little bigger. And then I'll put a front pocket to keep my glass cleaner and wipe to keep it clean. Cause that's how I roll. So that is where I'm at with this. And this is my downstairs stitching. Cause generally it's in my stitchy chair over here and I'm sitting and listening to floss tube or watching something, working on that. Excuse me. Then I started, I started this a little while ago. It's okay, it's a dimensions, it'll be a snowflake. This is a 14 count Ada that is like so hard. Um, I'll get it done here in a day or so or whatever. I'm in no rush and then I'm gonna finish it in this hoop and make it an ornament, but that's where I am at. I can't show you the pattern. I don't, I lost the cover sheet to it, but there'll be, design coming out this way so right now I have finished this side and I just need to finish down here and this is the floss it's just a red D, um, 
dimensions floss here I'll give you a quick look that's the pattern I do blow things up again far-sighted so I have a hard time this doesn't even have a bag it literally sits on my desk upstairs and if I'm in a conference call or waiting on hold with anybody I just drop a couple stitches in and then the evening I've been doing overtime um, in a different area of the bank and while I'm between calls I just you know throw a couple stitches in that um, and that just sits out there's no bag for it and then I have this bag here um, I wanted to start one of the be well and stitch um, so I did this is from Beth twist it says be well and stitch COVID-19 then it says and for Pete's sakes wash your hands and I'm working on this um, I didn't buy the floss I decided to use some of the stuff I already had um, I'll show you the colors in a second um, but this is where I'm at with it I'm just working on the little bird and I think it's amazing it's super cute and this is 16 count Ada that I coffee dyed and put in the oven and it shrunk just a little bit I think these cottons will when I'm putting them in such hot water but I don't mind it at all I want to make a little pillow or something out of that so I'm working on the bird here and the next is the heart I haven't decided if I like that color for the heart or not so we'll figure that out um so I just had a bunch of floss from different little projects that I had purchased this for some Easter projects and then I kind of lost interest but um, I have the 436 I have some 310 869 these are the three colors I've used so far I don't know what I did with my 310 but I'll need to fix that so I decided on this one I'm just gonna make it my COVID-19 deal with it what you got I've ordered plenty from my local stores but these are just some flosses I have that were left over from another project or I bought because I really like them and I wanted to do the Easter eggs and I will get back to the Easter stuff um, just kind of lost interest in that I finished the two that I started I wanted to make two more but so I'm just using the floss that I have on hand and then um, this one I believe calls for some well there's some color works DMC I don't even know what half of these are yeah I don't know so I'm working on this intermittently with that snowflake um, just because I wanted to start something I'm not a huge have a ton of whips going at one time person it makes me kind of anxious because I, I, as much as I enjoy the process, I want the finished product. That's why I picked it. That's why I purchased it. If it, to me, if I just wanted to stitch, I would just get a piece of Ada or something to stitch, which kind of is relaxing. I'm not going to lie, but I want this. I want this for summer. I want this out in November when it's time to vote. Like I want this product, this pillow, whatever it's going to be. I'm assuming it'll go to about here so I can make a decent pillow cover or frame it I will definitely if I don't sew it I will take it to a framer because of the wobbliness of this fabric I don't know that I would be able to get it straight and even in my hoop my letters kind of are funky so we won't have that um, I did print off for knitting if you haven't seen Quince and Co baby it's a baby uh, knit and it's a freebie this month and I love it and it's exciting and I love to knit baby wear um, here in Ohio we have the Ohio State Fair which I have entered in the years past for my knitting projects and the Hartford Fair is another it's like the oldest fair somewhere something it's about an hour and a half from me but they do a knitting entry as well but the baby knits that you enter then are donated to the local hospital which I think is fabulous for preemies or little babies that are sick who can't go home right away or they just give them sweaters so I'm gonna knit one or two of these enter them into the fair and then they will donate them at the end of the fair for 
the babies. And I thought that was perfect. And I have yarn already. So I just wanted to share that that was a free pattern that I printed. And then I printed off, if you haven't, the Be Well and Stitch on Instagram is a hashtag. And there's a couple um, local knitting stores that are collating all of these patterns together. I just printed off the ones, look at all those, that I liked and thought that I might would like to stitch up. Like this bird is amazing. Um, fox and rabbit design, that's my, what I'm doing now. But anyway, there's a lot. I couldn't even tell you exactly how many there are, but there's a lot. So I just kind of went through, picked out the ones I thought I would like and printed them off so that I could have them in my collection because I would like to do a few and have them, to, you know, displayed in my home. Um, I'm going to pause for one second and run and grab my friend stitchy mail that I got. So hang on with you one moment. Okay, I'm back. So this is my secondary channel. If you didn't know, I have a main channel. It's called My Crazy Life. And um, I have some subscribers over there that also do cross stitch. And they're on this channel too. So hi guys. Um, yes, so I have a subscriber and she sent me the most amazing gift in the mail the other day. And I wanna show you this first because it'll get cool. Look at this cat mug. And I'm kind of a crazy cat lady. I've got two black cats. But do you see him? Oh, her, him. I'm going to say it to him. So this mug, when you get one that's cold, is solid black. And when you put your hot coffee in it, it you see this picture and it's on both sides. It's awesome and I love it. So, my, hi black cat. <laughs> hi Wellington, excuse me. And then she stitched me this um, mug mat and look at the black kitty on it with the little yarn ball isn't that awesome i leave this on my desk for my morning coffee and it's like padded in there it's awesome and i love it and i appreciate it so much that she made that for me and if that's not all she kitted up floss fabric i can't really show you i think it's a free pattern but and i don't know the rules it's a black cat that I'm gonna stitch and it's gonna be a Christmas ornament, I've decided. And But she sent me even the needle, like everything, a fully kitted up gift. And I, it just makes my heart so warm to know that someone was thinking of me during this time. I mean, it's kind of, I live alone, so it's a little, a little boring sometimes, a little lonely. I'm a very social, outgoing person, so not being able to do that Although I understand why I can, it doesn't make it easier that I can. So there's that challenge. So getting some fun mail was exciting and kind of gave me something to do. So that's on my to-do list. So that brings me to future plans. Um, that's definitely one. That'll be some desk, knit, uh, desk stitching. And then I, I think I showed you this before. This is a bag that I sewed up, but this kit or this project is next and it's the Kringles um, and this is also by Little House Needleworks. I apparently love Little House Needleworks. So I love this and I am so excited to stitch it. So I bought this and it is the, it's on the 30 count Parisian Gray. I'm not ready, well, I could do a 30 count. Oh wait, this is I'm doing it on a 28. So it should be just a little bigger. This finished is 12 and a half by 15 and 3 eighths. So mine will be a little bigger. So I grabbed a very large piece of um, the Even Weave by Zweiger again. And it is, this is 28 count, but I'm betting if I measured it's closer to 30 with the shrinkage. But I writ dyed it with pearl gray, and I love the modeling. It looks very cement to me, which is awesome because I'm stitching a building. So this is a big piece. I think it's like something by 36. In store, 
full price it was $20 but I had a 40% off coupon so I think I got it for $14 and then I dyed it up so I need to decide if I want to do this in a Q-snap or get a bigger hoop but I feel like I need to get a Q-snap for it so I may buy like an 11 inch Q-snap and snug this in it um, when the time comes and then this is the coordinating notions pouch I um, stitched up to go with it and what's hysterical is I have my zippers going in opposite directions I mean nobody cares but me apparently and so I did purchase from my local needle shop the and I'm glad I did because a lot of these colors people are out of already um, they flossed it up with classic color works for the most part and I did get the bags for these um, I just think it's easier for me to store them like this for now so it's mostly classic color there was one two three four five DMC colors that I grabbed maybe six five I just have to get a second another bag out put that in and then I'll write down what everything is but I think I'll probably leave my flosses in here. I just, there's a lot of floss and I don't want it to get like mangled up and tangled up. But I can leave it on these two rings like a book and it will lay flat in my bag. Um, it called for one that I couldn't find. Um, Oversois silk. But I think I figured out that that is gold. And I have um, some Krynic gold, so that'll be fine. When I get to it, I have Krynic for another project. So what I will do is, since I'm going to, I think my plan, I think, is to do all of the building out, outline the whole thing, and then go back in and fill in the nine little blocks. And I think that works for me visually to be able to place everything where it needs to go within those blocks. I mean, I could do the top, you know, the top three and then move down and move down. I could totally do that too. We'll see. Um, I definitely think I'm starting from the top down. And I probably should order a Q-snap. I think so. So I got a few snap, maybe even a 14 inch. I don't know. I don't know. There's no way I'll be able to work this all at once. I'm just thinking fabric management because I have. I'm not cutting that fabric until I'm done. Like I'll start in a corner and work down, but I don't want to mess with it. I've sewn up. I I hemmed basically the edges of this because I don't want. Um, a lot of fraying it that makes me a little batty and because I'm gonna be working on this probably for a long time I did roll my edges before I dyed it so I'm just gonna leave it like that I'll probably get a q-snap I could get like a lap scroll thingy but I don't I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't I don't know that's what I know at this juncture. So we'll see. I mean, it maybe try the Q-snap if that doesn't work. I may have to go to a scroll bar system to keep it in line and where it needs to be. But I just know that I really want this to be special. Like I want to finish this. I'm hoping by this year, Christmas, I mean, it's April. It's feasible that I could finish this by Christmas. I'm pretty monogamous. And then um, have it framed. And then this would be something that I could put up in my home every year. And I'm kind of thinking, instead of calling this Kringles, putting my last name in there. I don't know. Is that crazy? It could be. I wonder if she would chart it for me. Or figure out the alphabet. I, I'm so far away from that point. But, so yes. I guess these little bags were a stash acquisition and my DMC um, I did go purchase um, I bought all the classic color works came in that in this set here 
So that is definitely on target. And then for the small that I'm gonna work on, it's way over there. I won't go get it because I'm not ready to start that. It's another ornament. It's a black cat sitting on a package, but there's like beads involved and specialty stitches. So I'm like, even though it's just tiny, it's just freaking me out a little bit. So I think I'll do all these little smalls first and then I will get up to that one. So that is everything that I'm working on. I am doing some knitting. Um, not a lot. I need to work on that sweater. And I have a sweater in the works that I haven't touched, but stitching just seems to be holding my attention and I'm, I'm a little unsettled. So if I can calm down and do some stitching, I'm perfectly happy doing that. All right, everybody. Well, I think that is everything. Please like, subscribe, share, leave some comments below. Let's get some dialogue going and I will talk to you later. Bye.